Okay, so in this video I'm going to do problem number six on the rational functions graphing practice sheets. Uh, jumping right into it, I need to factor. All right, the denominator is going to be the one that my brain just says, let's do that one first. So x minus 3. Numerator, I've got, let's see, I'm going to do a little guess and check here. Um, do, 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 do. So I think if I do 3 here and a 2 here, let's make that negative and that positive. Quick double check. 3x squared minus 9x plus 2x is the minus 7x, and yes, okay. So I can clearly see that those two terms, those factors will divide each other out. So what's left here is f of, hold on a second, having some technical difficulties. So f of x is equal to 3x plus 2 over just x, okay? So y-intercept, I'm going to make x equal to 0. Uh, so let's see, 3 times 0 plus 2 over 0, uh, none. All right, no y-intercept for you. We're going to take that x-intercept, set the numerator equal to 0. So x is equal to negative 2 thirds. So that gives me the ordered pair negative 2 thirds, 0. Vertical asymptote, set the denominator equal to 0, and, well, it's written for us because there's nothing to solve there other than x equals 0. Horizontal asymptotes are degrees match, right? x and x, they both first degree, or if you go back to the original, they're both squared, second degree. Um, so if we divide the coefficient, so 3 divided by 1 in the denominator is y equals 3. We clearly have a hole in this graph because we have something that we canceled. So x minus 3 equals 0, that's the factor I canceled out, which gives me x equals 3. And now I'm going to take that 3 and put it into the simplified function to figure out what y is equal to. So 3 times 3 plus 2 over 3 is, what is that, 9 plus 2 makes 11 over 3. All right, so... I'm going to take all this information, put it on the graph, see if I need an extra point. If I do, awesome, I'll figure that one out too. All right, no y-intercept, so I don't have to worry about that. Negative 2 thirds 0. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit on this so I can get it close. All right. Um, for my asymptotes, let's go ahead and get that in there. Um, I had x equals 0 and y equals 3. All right, so x equals 0 is the y-axis, y equals 3, 1, 2, 3 here, okay, and I have a discontinuity at 3 11 thirds. So this is a place where if you're not terribly confident with your fractions, you can double check on a calculator what 11 thirds is. It's 3.6 repeating, or 3.7. So basically you want to go to positive 3, so 1, 2, 3, and then count up, so 1, 2, 3, and then almost to 4. And there's your discontinuity. Uh, in this case, we don't need an extra point, which is kind of nice, uh, because we have a point on the left, which is the intercept, and we have a discontinuity on the right, which again tells me still enough about the graph that I can put, graph through those. So let's see here. We're going to curve here down to this point, approach the vertical asymptote, but don't cross it. Uh, same thing on the upper right here, curve through, but don't go through the discontinuity. All right. So that's the approximate shape of our curve. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on problem number six.